Okay, an interesting example, expand it. Um, express your final answer in terms of log x, log y, and log z. I look at my argument, I have y, z, and x. So I'm going to end up with three logarithm expression. Now, y uh, to the fifth power is on the top, so I'm going to have a, you can put plus in the front. I don't really care. Log of y to the fifth power. z squared is in the denominator, meaning it has a negative exponent. So I'm going to do minus log of z squared. And that is at the denominator as well, so minus log of square root of x cubed. So that's the first step. Now, let's go ahead and drop all the argument, uh, exponent of the arguments in the front. So 5 log of y minus 2 log of z. What are we going to do over here? That's a little tricky. Square root. So that's the the nth root becomes the denominator of the exponent. So the denominator of the exponent becomes 2 and then the q. So it's going to be x raised to the 3 half power. Drop that in the front. Minus 3 half log of x will be the final answer. So I mean, it's, it's as interesting, but I mean, it is interesting. It's not that hard, right? So try next example. Let's go.